Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Saturday, it's August 27th of 2022. I apologize if there's a little bit of an echo up here. I was going to go out on the rooftop deck, but it's locked. So we're just going to go ahead and visit here. I've got some updates for you, as well as I'm gonna to talk to you about how princesses tie the knot weddings work, and it includes a whole lot more than just weddings. And so I wanna tell you all about it. So first of all, um, let's go ahead and talk about the few updates that I've got from on board some ships right now. Okay, I wanted to start off with this and I should have said it first, but you know what? I know that we have a lot of our Let's Go family members sailing out of Los Angeles right now. And yesterday on um, our comments, someone asked if we recommend a place to stay there if you're flying into LAX and then you're going to sail out of San Pedro there or Long Beach, either one, it just works great. So when Gordon and I went last October and we sailed out of San Pedro there, the part in Los Angeles, we stayed at the Hilton LAX and we've got a video showing that. So I will make sure that we um, have that underneath this video for you to click on and watch if you would like to see that. And then we also had our Let's Go family members, Annette, she commented and said that they stayed at the Crown Plaza, the Crown Plaza Los Angeles Harbor there. And the really nice thing is, is they were able to leave their car there in the covered parking and just walk over to the harbor go on their cruise, come back, and their car was um, at a nice safe place the whole time they were gone, and it was really handy. So I wanted to let you know about that. Also, we've got our Let's Go family members right now on the Emerald Princess, and I heard back from uh, Larry, and he said that they did a really great um, excursion to Sark, S-A-R-K, Island today in the Channel Islands. They did a horse-drawn carriage ride. It was very beautiful weather, he said, in the 70s, 70s and clear. And then also yesterday when I was saying that we had Let's Go family members on board, Larry was so happy to tell me, and I appreciate it because I see her videos and I saw where she was. I just didn't connect it. So Emma from, um, you know, the UK, our cruise, um, she doesn't know us from anyone, but we watch her videos too. So she is also on the Emerald Princess right now, along with my sister. And my sister told me that they have announced there are 2,616 on board. Of those, 1,053 are from the United States, which I thought was really interesting because I was wondering how um, people were looking at things right now, if it was a hassle to fly, since we had heard of flight delays and everything, as well as, to me, it's always just really interesting to hear the mix of passengers. So it sounds like a lot of people weren't worried about those delays and the luggage troubles and, and off you went. So that's great. And there are 1,136 staff members on board as well, crew members. Alrighty, so the next thing um, that I wanted to let you know about is um, our um, Let's Go family member, Dale. They are going to be sailing on the Majestic Princess to Alaska um, today, Saturday, and he um, wanted us to know that they had asked everyone on the Majestic sailing this Saturday, so that will be out of Vancouver, if I'm not mistaken, to please be on board by 6.30 p.m., and then the sail away is going to be at 11.30 p.m., so that's an update there, and then um, I'm putting this question out there for all of you. Those of you who have sailed club class, can you please um, give me um, either an email or in the comments and let us know um, a detailed, uh, just a detailed account of how club class embarkation works. Because if you have not sailed in a club class mini suite yet or in, uh, in club class, the perks are also included with suite cabins on Princess. If you have not done that yet, there are lots of perks that go with it in addition to the club class dining and um, priority embarkation is one of them. And so I would really like to hear from all of you how that works. I don't know if they put you on board with the elite passengers or how they do it. So I would really like to hear about you. I found some um, information on the Princess website, but it seemed like it was maybe a little bit dated. So I wanted to have some up-to-date information from you all, if you wouldn't mind sharing that with us. Now, um, there are three ways um, that you can get married on a Princess ship. You can get married on the ship when you're at sea. You can get married harbor side 
or you can get married like in one of the ports. And so there's a variety of different ways that that works. I have actually been on board and I'm always so excited when I see someone coming to get married and I think it's lots of fun. So there are some perks that go with that. Now I was trying to look up everything um, that goes with doing a harbor site because the way they said it works there is you can get married on the day before embarkation so that your family and friends can come and join you. And then if anybody wants to stay on the cruise with you, they can and you have a lovely time and anyone else um, wants to get off that can. I can't find an update about that for COVID, so I hope they are still doing it. So if any of you have experienced that lately, let me know. Now, if you decide that you wanna get married in a port that you're going to go visit, they will have a local um, officiant there marry you. But if you get married on the ship at sea, the captain marries you. And the way that it works is the ships are registered with Bermuda, and so before you sail, the um, princess will help you as part of the package, help you go through everything that you need to go through to get registered. And then once you get to be married there at sea by the captain. And once you get home, then you are going to receive a Bermuda um, marriage certificate um, as proof of your marriage. So the fee for that, the packages start at $2,500 plus $495 fee that Bermuda charges um, to have a wedding license and a, and a marriage through them to, to issue a marriage certificate and everything. So it is really, I think, a really good deal if you consider how much most weddings cost here on land. I think that starting at $2,500 is actually extraordinarily available and I've had three sons and one daughter get married and I find $2,500 $2,500 to be very, very affordable. Now, the um, really important thing to remember is it depends on where uh, your, um, where the, like your, your price to get married in a port is going to vary by the port that you're going to visit. That's a really important thing to remember and that you also cannot decide like spur of the moment once you're on the ship to get married because of what needs to be done with like the marriage license and the preparations with everything with the paperwork from Bermuda and everything else that goes with it. You have to decide in, a, in advance if you want to get married at sea. So when you go ahead and do the, um, when you sign up for a package, there are some basics that go with it and that will include, um, let's see, I had it right here, you get to have music with it, a bouquet and a matching boot and ear, sparkling wine, a photographer, services of a professional wedding coordinator, so someone at Princess will work with you on that, a nine inch wedding certificate, and you also get a Princess keepsake wedding certificate. And then from there, if you wanna add extra things, you can add extra things, like you can get an upgraded photographer package for more photos, you can do all of these other things. You can also so um, like um, say, say you want to do a small reception and um, like some ships, I, I've seen them in the Will Hart House um, lounge, the Will House bar there before and it's a really nice area. They come, they have drinks and whatever you want to order um, for anyone in your party, you can do that. Now when I, Gordon and I were on the Caribbean Princess in January of this year, 2022, we were able to meet James and Sigrid. They are such nice people and they got married on a princess ship and he was telling me what a wonderful experience it was. Like the captain or one of the officers, maybe it was, came to the cabin and got um, Sigrid and took her um, down and like walked her down to where they were married, that it was just wonderful. He said that the reception was really nice and then they got to go have lobster dinner because it was formal night. and like he didn't have to pay for that. And I don't think he's a cheapskate, but I think he's a thinker. And so I think that there are all of these perks that we don't think about that make it such a wonderful wedding experience that um, makes it more affordable for you and extra memorable too, because you will always remember doing that. And then you can like go on a sailing every year to remember your anniversary and just so many special memories that go with that. So I wanted to um, bring him up because they um, told me about it and I thought it sounded just absolutely wonderful. The other thing that um, some of the luxury upgrade options that you can do, you can have extra fancy food and beverages, you can have specialty cakes, you can have whole floral packages, video packages. I mentioned the upgraded photography package, 
You can have Lotus Spa services, tuxedo rental, and even live entertainment for the ceremony or the reception. And so I wanted to um, just make sure that everybody knows that this is a wonderful option, whether you're the person getting married or you've got children getting married and you're looking for a fun way to do it. And then in addition to that, Princess has really fun romance packages. And until I started looking up everything to do with the weddings, I didn't realize how much they have that sound like a lot of fun. So I think I'm going to have to try these, um, some of them for Gordon and I sometimes. So they have like an anniversary package. So um, you'll get to have um, dinner in a specialty restaurant. You get to um, have a photo, a special photo for that. You get an upgrade for a couple's massage in the Lotus Spa. And um, like you can add extra things to it. They've got honeymoon packages and um, let's see, re renewal of vows packages. And this reminds me, so if you, um, it are already married you can do renewal of vow ceremonies oh and you know what the other thing that goes with it if you are on the majestic princess i think it's the sapphire princess the diamond princess they are registered in the uk so they cannot and they're not registered in Bermuda, so they cannot do weddings on board, but they can do special commitment ceremonies, Rito of vows, all these other vow, vows, all these other special things that um, I think are really special and make not only a crew special, but make your life special. And I think it's extra special. I really do think it's important to take the opportunity to celebrate things when you can. So, um, so that's um, one of the things you can do. They also have a sweetheart package and then an engagement, everything but their proposal package. So if you're thinking of getting engaged, that's another wonderful option for you. They help you plan everything. A lot is included in these packages. I think it's just amazing. And I'm really glad that they do all of this because as I read through some of this, it's things I wouldn't have thought of doing otherwise. And I think that once we know what's available, it helps us plan um, funner things in our life. It helps us know what's available so that we can take advantage of them. So I hope that this has helped some of you who are thinking about getting married or just want that extra special something on your next sailing. I know that anniversaries are really special. I know, especially coming out of COVID, I think a lot of us had um, years go by that we didn't really do anything special to celebrate things like that. And so I thought that this would be a really nice time to start doing a little bit more of that. And I know um, as I was doing all of this, Gordon and I talked about it, and we're going to try harder to do more of these special things as well, in addition to going on cruises, just little things that make them extra special. Special. So if you have any questions about any of this, let me know. If you happen to be someone that is, um, that I'm your travel agent, I'm happy to help you with it. You just let your travel agent know. We contact Princess and they get the ball rolling. You know what, the last thing I forgot to tell you is I kind of am off my game here a little bit. I don't have my usual setup. The other thing I wanted to tell you is if you are going to go on a cruise and you are going to go on your honeymoon on the sailing, you can sign up for Princess's honeymoon registry. So whenever someone wants to give you a wedding gift or something extra special for your honeymoon, they can go online to your registry and give money towards something that you want, whether if you want something at the Lotus Spa or if you just want onboard credit to use on excursions or whatever it is, they can add gifts that way. And I thought that was really fun because so often, um, sometimes I don't know what to give people when they get married and I want to give them something that they can use and appreciate. And I think this is perfect because so many people don't need like another beautiful bowl or another mixer, um, you know, another, uh, kitchen anything or something and whatever it is that I just thought that this was really nice and it's really nice too because it can it applies to everybody whether you're somebody who just wanted to give the happy couple you know a few dollars or if you wanted to give them a lot more either way it works for everybody so I thought that was really important and the other thing is is if you are going to get married on the cruise ship you can schedule you can have a bachelor party you can have a, bri a bridal shower on board you can do all of the fun things that we do here on land so I just wanted to make you all aware of that. If any of you have any updates because you're sailing on a cruise ship right now, whether it's Princess or another cruise line, I would really, really like to hear from you all. And if any of you um, have any questions, just put them down in the comments below or send me an email. And don't forget that Gordon and I have four um, group cruises. We are going to Alaska on Holland America Zero Dom on May 27th of 2023. We've got the In Search of the Northern Lights to Norway, October 4th of 2023. And then we've got 
Antarctica on January 20th of 2024, and then the total eclipse cruise that'll be going to the Mexican Riviera on April 3rd of 2024. So if you're interested in any of that, just send me an email. My email addresses are underneath this video. We'd love to have you come with us. And I just wanted to make sure everybody knows that those are out there. I will, um, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We need you with us. And I think that you're going to love being a part of this amazing cruise community that everyone has been so kind to help us create here. If you appreciate these updates, please give this video a thumbs up because it really does help us. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>